Hey, this is Tanya Davenport with Cobalt Banker High Country Realty in the beautiful North Georgia mountains. I am in Hawassi, Georgia. I am at 739 Gage Drive. The property is sitting on one acre. I'm standing on the porch. Um, there is a um, circular driveway. It's concrete on both sides. There's gravel on the back side. The porch goes all the way around. And as you can see, it is a cabin. As you can see where I've parked and you can see where the um, gravel is. And then there's water over there. So there's a creek that runs through there. I'm not sure if that's on the property or not. Um, because I do not have the listing information um, up. I had actually um, had a client to ask me to show them this one, and I didn't have a chance to print off any of the information. So what I can tell you about this home is that it has a spectacular view. As you can see, it's got beautiful mountain views. There are some homes around. Um, this is, um, the, the road is Gage Drive. It is a beautiful, um, um, area to be in. You're really close to Bell Mountain. You're very close to town and you have close neighbors, but it's understandable with such a beautiful view. Okay, it is a three bedroom, three bath. Like I said, it was sitting on one acre and the home was built in 2004. It does have a basement. Steps that lead up to the woods. As you can see, there's propane here. And I walked all the way around. Great um, feature to have um, wrap around porches when it's raining. You got no worries about getting wet. All right, so I'm in, it's open. It is very bright. It, um, it's like a pickle um, finish on the walls. You got those huge picture windows just looking at that beautiful view outside. Here's the fireplace. It is a gas fireplace. The rock runs all the way up. And so I did not show you, but to the right of the entry is the kitchen. So it's got granite countertops, white appliances, I've been told that they're coming back in style. They have not been in style. The kitchen isn't huge, but it does have plenty of um, cabinet space. The floors are wood and it's very bright in here. And then you've got a bathroom um, that goes off of the um, kitchen and then you've got the bedroom. So like you can see, there's the door. It will go and make this a master. So that is a king size bed and you can see it does fit. Um, there's not a whole lot of room, but there are two nightstands there. So the bedroom has all wood, wood walls, wood ceiling, wood floor. You can see out the window a view. If you put the bed the other direction, you actually would have a better view probably um, of the mountains. Oh. Well, that's the wrong closet to go in if I'm wanting to go to the bathroom. Maybe I was wrong. I was thinking that the door did connect to it, but it doesn't. Okay. Let's see. All right. So there's a, a door here. So I guess that's a closet. My apologies, you guys. So you do have a nice size pantry. Okay, so the vanity is white. It's not granite in here like it is in the kitchen, but it's all wood. And then your washer and dryer's in here. And you got no tub, you've got a three foot shower. It's not tile, it's a shower tub insert. Okay, so I've left the bathroom. I am heading up the stairs. Okay, so you got a door that goes outside. Okay, and the floors have wood on them, so they've got a little runner there. And so I'll show you the 
view from the balcony. This is very open up here in this loft. There's plenty of room. The walls are wood and it's sloped. Somebody is an artist here, is what Dawson said. So as you can see, they've got their easel set up. And this bedroom is absolutely huge. I don't have any lights on. You can see how nice and bright it is, and it's getting late in the day, so the sun's not even out, but it is very bright. So, I know there's central heat and air. There probably is only one um, zone, so um, it's running for the main level, and it's probably getting a little bit warm up here is the reason they've got that window unit. I've experienced that before in other homes. Single sink. There's a closet. And there's no tub, but there is a bigger shower than what was down in the main level. So you've got these doors. As you can see, the wood's still carrying throughout it. All right, let me take you out there and see what kind of view you can get from even higher up. Well, from here, you can actually see Lake Chatoog. Isn't that wonderful? It's beautiful. And I can still hear that creek. So as you can see, it's got a tin roof on it. And there's the chimney. So there is that option of not just propane in the fireplace, but to have um, all wood. So your neighbor is close, but you know, it's, it's the views. take you through here and let you see this room from this angle as I'm trying to shut the door okay so I had to pause it because they've got curtains up and I didn't want to um, damage them by trying to shut the door and getting it caught in it very high ceilings It. So the basement is in the kitchen area. The flooring or the stairs are still wood, and then you've got carpet. So everything is sheet right down here. Drop ceiling, very open, large space. Don't have any lights on. This would be a closet to the, underneath the stairs. No surprise there. <laughs> Sometimes I'm wrong about doors like I was earlier. All right, and so, oop, there you go. There's a surprise. So there's a little kitchenette down here. <clears throat> and here is tile flooring. And then <clears throat> there's um, carpet in the bedroom. That's a king size bed. So that's a pretty good size bed. You've got a closet and nice space. All right. Mm. And then right through here, let's turn on the lights. So this bathroom down here has a tub. And there's sheetrock in the ceiling in here, not drop ceiling. Single sink. And another pantry. There's my helper. 
Mm. So there's quite mm. a bit of space here. Quite a bit of space here in this little kitchenette. Mm. All right. Let you see this space. You could probably, I feel like it would be a whole lot more even open down here if there wasn't carpet. Carpet seems to make the place feel um, more closed in. I'm not going to walk down there, but as you can see yeah. in here. And then here is a fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> and it comes right off of the driveway right here. Let's get the front of the house here. And then I'm going to walk down the driveway. And show you the front of the house. Has um, done a lot of landscaping here. And there's stairs. It's all paved. All right, so here is the front of the house, as you can see. All right, so just to recap, it's 739 Gage Drive. It's listed at 525. It's a three bedroom, three bath on one acre. It was built in 2004 and it's coming furnished. It's close to town and it's got great views. Concrete driveway paved up to it. You can see Lake Chatoog and you can see um, a great view of the mountains. It's located in Hawassi, Georgia. Um, it's got lots of hiking um, on the Appalachian Trail, and you, you can find waterfalls and um, all things, all kind of things to do, even um, wineries and great eats. So, if you have any interest in this property or any others, please don't hesitate to contact me, Tanya Davenport with Cobalt Banker High Country in the beautiful North Georgia Mountains, 706 455 6977.